Good evening and welcome to the Riverside for a Borough Match UEFA Cup special. I'm Michael Wadock introducing Middlesbrough versus Lazio. It's Borough's second UEFA Cup group game as the side look to stay top of Group E following their 1-0 win over Egalio of Athens two weeks ago. Borough come into this on the back of seven unbeaten, but Lazio are one of Europe's most famous names. They have won just one of their last six, and that was last week against Messina. But don't underestimate their appetite for the big occasion, and nights don't come much bigger than this one at the Riverside. Now, possession given away, and it is with Di Canio. Well, we've seen that so many times in the Premier League. Paolo Di Canio testing Mark Schwarzer on this occasion. Yeah, just look at it here. There's only one thing in his mind there. Open and go up and try and curl it in towards the far post. Fortunately, Mark Schwarzer had read it early there. Di Canio scored Lazio's first goal this season in Serie A which was a 1-0 win over Sampdoria, pulling his switch from Charlton in the summer. Last time Paolo Di Canio played here, of course, he got a boot in the head from Danny Mills as Mark Paducah trying to get in support now, and Downing's trying to pick him out. Might come out to Zenden! Oh, what a goal! Middlesbrough are ahead against Lazio, and it's Paolo Zenden that has scored it! We played quarter of an hour here at the Riverside and Bolo Zenden has followed up the goal that he scored against Charlton on Saturday at the Valley with a quite spectacular effort in the UEFA Cup against Lazio. Well, I said, the midfielders have got to get them support and this is what happens when they do. Stuart Downing made a great run forward there, puts the ball in, not the best of crosses, cleared, but once this has come out, what about this for a volley? You will not see a better ball struck all evening, all night in Europe. That is a fantastic strike. That's all about timing and contact. And no goalkeeper would have saved that. Absolute wonderful technique. Oten battling with his opposite number, Filippini, and comes away with the ball. Downing inside to Viduka and Downing's off and running now. And here is Stuart Downing. It's three against three with Ray Parler making an excellent run in the middle. Downing across. It was cut out really well by Fernando Couto in the end. I'm sure Steve Gibson up there in this normal seat in the director's box will be enjoying nights like this. It's what he would have been dreaming about since 1986. Now Viduka holding the ball up. It finds its way out to Stuart Downing. Zenden had made the run through the middle. There's Hasselbank, took it really well. Harler's gone outside of Hasselbank, who's had a go. Goalkeeper has only pushed it out as far as Downing again. And Downing's done well against Manfredini. Decent ball in, will be a corner kick. What a bit of power in Jimmy there. Look at this for power. That's an absolute rocket of a shot there. And as the goalkeeper's parried that, that ball could have went anywhere. All the goalkeeper's done is just put his hands up there. And that could have landed at the feet of Mark Viduka, the head of Mark Viduka. But the goalkeeper got his luck. But once again, great power from Jimmy Floyd Tasselbank. Corner kick, downing then to deliver it. Could rue it was rising for the header. Broken, we thought, for Hasselbank. Half cleared, only as far as Ray Parler. Ball's gone wide again. Downing in this time, and there's Bolo Zenden! And there's 2-0 Middlesbrough. Bolo Zenden's head up has surely now secured the points for Middlesbrough in this game. He receives the congratulations of his teammates, amongst them George Boating and Chris Rigger. It was another downing delivery, and it was another Bolo Zenden goal. Well, we're just happy to play possession football. So the referee blows the final whistle, a big night for Steve McLaren and Steve Gibson up in the director's box, but arguably the night belongs to Bolo Zenden.